Good morning, everybody. Sorry, the lighting's a little weird. But this is what driving in the morning is like <laughs> for me, um, going towards the airport. So, like I said, I'm on my way to the airport and heading to Denver today. It's gonna be a super long week. Normally when I travel, I travel like Tuesday through Thursday, sometimes just Wednesday to Thursday, or even sometimes Wednesday to Friday, but either way, it's usually just like three days. But I have a full week, excuse me, um, in Denver, which I, had, I don't actually mind it for Denver because I feel like it makes the flight a little bit worth it because it's a three, plus hour flight for me and I have to adjust to the time difference and all that so um, because it's mountain time so it's two hours behind where Eastern is which is what Florida is anyway so it's gonna be good it's gonna be meeting with people that I don't get to see on a regular basis and it's just good to be on the same page with everybody once in a while so I uh, per normal. Got the kickstart. Got my chicken sandwich. And I'm gonna head to the airport. Everybody else, well I should say, Linda was at work already when I left and Duncan and the pups were fast asleep and Oso was just afraid of the noise my suitcase was making. So that's what's going on in my world and I'll check in with you once I get to the airport. Sorry, I didn't check in. I'm actually on my way to work right now, so um, we will see you guys. Well, I'll see you guys when I get done. Um, this morning was pretty uneventful. Um, just did some stuff around the house, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I get done with work. Hotels crack me up. They gave me a chocolate bar. Hello, everybody. So I am back at my, well, I should say I'm checked into my room. Um, I'm actually really close to where my office space is, so that is very helpful. I'm fighting a really bad headache. I've actually had a headache for the last couple days, but it's been like super sinusy related. I can like feel it in places. Not the best. Denver it was actually really good for my allergies when I lived here, but it's like the going back and forth between the allergens or lack of allergens just kind of sucks, for lack of a better word. Um, and... Yeah, so just took some severe Sudafed. Hopefully that'll help. And it's actually only 5 p.m. mountain time, so I feel like I've got lots of time to get stuff done and a lot of stuff to get done. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to eat this chocolate bar. And, oh, I didn't talk about dinner. So you saw Genghis Grill, which is one of mine and Duncan's favorite places to go from when we lived here. I, we love any of those Mongolian grilled type places where you create your own bowl. 
So I just set my week off to a very fantastic start. I cannot believe I'm going to be here till Friday, though. It's still kind of sitting there like, you're going to be here a while. But at the same time, sometimes it feels like I still live here, so it's weird to be in a hotel in Denver still. But anyways, so I'm going to go focus and see you later. I know this is really creepy lighting. I just don't feel like turning on all the lights and I've been dealing with a headache and it's not a migraine or anything, but sometimes I feel like sitting in the dark just helps a little bit. But I came on to whine a little bit. As I mentioned before, we used to live in Denver, not even, we're like coming up on a year of being gone from Denver, but we were only here like a year and a half. Either way, I mean, as you guys know, I've been dealing with some crazy sinusy junk. And for those that haven't been to Denver, the altitude's very high. Like, you need to drink a lot of water to stay hydrated. Like, when you think you're drinking enough, you're still not drinking enough. My point is, I can't tell what my headache's for. So I Amazon primed like a 12 pack of water bottles to my hotel and hoping that that's gonna help because I've tried everything else. I took my allergy pill, I took my Sudafed, I took my Flonase. Flonase helped for like 0.5 seconds. And then, oh no. So we're gonna try drowning them out. So, it's done with work, and I'm going to call him here in a little bit, but I just had to share. I was getting ready for bed, and I swear I heard Oso's collar jingle, and I like actually looked at my suitcase to make sure I didn't have a stowaway cat. It was super weird. I'm not even sure what that sound was, but I really thought it was Oso, so that's kind of weird. But I'm still fighting the headache, so I'm going to go to bed, and it's only 8.45 Denver time, but I'm exhausted. So, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm home, and it's time for bed because I have to get up super early. Because I have so much things to do tomorrow. So many things to do tomorrow. Um, I, I'm, like, working on and off tomorrow. It's a really weird kind of day. Um, but I'll get some time in between, the in the middle of the day that I'm not working, and I'll get some time at night that I'm not working, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, hopefully some editing, hopefully some puppy time, and, uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. So, bye bye Hey, Alex, thanks for coming to the show! Ask for one! What? What? What did he say?